January is the extremes That's in right. our yeah. weather all across the country. Yeah, it's not just here. It is, it is everywhere. And we're going to go, I would say, as we go closer towards February, probably the first week of February, that jet stream is going to dip down to the Gulf of Mexico, which means it's going to get really cold. And so I guess enjoy today. Yeah. Uh, today's <laughs> the last one of those 50-plus days. What a year we've had. And I'm going to explain this during the day if you're with us on Sunrise. But January's had four 60-degree days, and we're approaching a record uh, for warmth right now. But this will be the last of it. I wanted to show you where rain is falling right now. If you're headed north, I-65, there's a little bit of rain uh, on US-31 as you head towards Plymouth and South Bend, but over by the Hoosier Tire Company, that big uh, company making Hoosier tires, it's raining there. Well, here we are uh, at 465 and US-36 with, on the west side, dry roads. And unlike yesterday, we're not going to have a lot of this moisture around or the mist. We will have a chance for rain, though. 37 and clear skies out at the airport. We haven't seen that in a while. Winds out of the southeast at 13. Well, it's going to be back to the 50s today in a very mild day. You know, yesterday we were in the 40s. Day before that, we we're in the 60s. We're in the 50s today. 52 is what I'm going to call it for a high. And that's because of the cloud cover and the southwesterly breeze that will propel us up. I do think we're going to see a little bit of sunshine, but probably just a little bit. Right now, that wind out of the west or east southeast so 37 here 38 in lafayette and if that sounds warm it is that's warmer than we would normally be on a high uh, but as far as the day is concerned we're actually running about three degrees cooler than yesterday all right let's show you what's going to happen i think this morning we'll get clipped by a brief shower probably not much but there is moisture in the atmosphere so if you're headed to Louisville and Cincinnati, they get more rain than we do. And I think primarily a dry day with a passing shower. Now that front is going to move through about 8.30 or 9 o'clock tonight. At that time, look what happens. Chicago gets full-fledged snow. It'll go along the Indiana Toll Road. By about this time tomorrow, we will have snow in Indianapolis. I don't think it's going to be much, but it's probably enough to cover the road. So I think... Kelly Green, who's filling in for me tomorrow because I get the day off, is probably going to talk about some slick roads at times during uh, sunrise tomorrow and probably the early morning rush hour. Then we go into Thursday and Friday, and that jet stream dips well to the south, and that's going to really reinforce the cold. So let's show you the forecast for today. Mostly cloudy and windy. I'm going to talk more about the winds uh, in just a few minutes, but they could gust 20. 30 miles per hour with a brief shower around. Then tonight we're down to the freezing mark. And how about that? From 52 to six days in a row, at least with highs only in the 30s. Tomorrow we tie the average high, but after that it's below average. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So for all of you who are uh, getting used to this un Indiana like weather, it's back to reality really as early as tonight and tomorrow. I kept saying